What's going on? How are you guys today? The most common email I get is someone with a severe health issue asking me for help. Sometimes they say they can't afford a consultation. Most of the time it's just implied. Either way, this video is for those people who I cannot take my personal time to individually assess. Instead of a typical day of eating, I'm going to explain why this diet I currently follow is the best for anyone trying to heal their body, fix any sort of ailment. Keep in mind, most people are not having severe enough health issues to follow this diet. Even if they are having very, very severe issues, can't sleep, bowel irregularities, can't function, can't work, they generally regress back to their old habits very quickly as they've had bad past experiences trying new diets, maybe when trying to incorporate carbohydrates back in after being keto or carnivore, or simply don't have enough belief in the dietary protocol to adhere to it. That being said, this diet is what I put all of my clients on to start with. I would personally follow it to fix any sort of nutritional related health issue. So you guys have seen this several times. The main difference is I have accurately portioned this to what you would probably start with. For the meal, there's some steak. We have white rice and beans, everything organic. The meat's grass-fed, very high quality, you know, prepared with mineral water, rinsed as minimal chemicals as possible. On the side here for supplements, we have water kefir, masticum and charcoal and optional for dessert if you need it if you're craving you can have a peeled apple this will give us the base nutrition we need to keep our cells healthy but more importantly remove all of the negative inflammatory things that most foods have allowing the body to detox and heal yes i, I do deviate from this now but i have a very developed understanding of what foods i can and can't eat and you know, once you feel somewhat better, you can be less strict and explore those options. Most of you guys have been carnivore, and I've done so many videos on the health benefits of meat, B vitamins, animal-based amino acids, cholesterol, highly available nutrients that we need to be healthy. Problem is that protein is hard to digest for various reasons, high iron content, ultimately making digestion worse, and you will feel bad if you eat too much protein especially if your digestive system isn't healthy. I would say three to four ounces is a good starting point for two or three meals a day. You could even go less than that. And then you can increase depending on your appetite, how you feel. Um, and if you do have three meals, maybe just try not having protein for the last meal. See if you sleep better. I think any more than one pound to one and a half pounds of meat total, depending on your weight is excessive. And you definitely want to match it with more carbohydrates and starch if you are eating more meat. And as we said, grass-fed organic on the meat to minimize pollutants and maximize B vitamins. Another consideration for the protein is the fat content. You guys have seen me go for leaner steaks and there's good reason for that. This is ribeye, but it's a leaner one. And even filet mignon, there is still a pretty significant fat content, which is all you really need as the only vitamins and nutrients that are significant in beef are in the lean tissue. There is no specific vitamin in animal fat that is not contained in the protein portion. And the reason you want to minimize fat on this diet is because there are two things fat does that can make it slower to heal. One is cause more bile to be released from the bile ducts and liver. Bile is how the body excretes and releases toxins into the digestive tract to be detoxed through the bowel movement when you go to the bathroom. That is the most significant and simple metabolic process your body is doing to heal, excrete toxins through the bowel movement. But if more bile is being released, more toxins will come out, making you feel worse, increasing detox symptoms, negative detox symptoms and it has higher potential to be reabsorbed, which brings us to problem number two, fat promotes absorption of nutrients and toxins and reduces gut motility. So you don't want that reduced movement and higher absorption from an increased fat intake. If you want the toxins to be excreted as smoothly as possible with minimal side effects, the less fat, the better. 
And also, if you're eating fat, you're eating less carbohydrates and starch, and that bulk, that volume is far more important for pushing toxins out. Bringing us to the carbohydrate component of the meal. Here we have the organic white rice, basically the least inflammatory starch. You can really eat white potatoes or red potatoes are okay, but they are high in potassium, can cause water retention. Some people don't feel too well eating them, but both white rice and white potatoes are very balanced, excellent starch sources. There are two primary purposes for a lot of starch. One is to actually soak the toxins being released from the liver. Two is to feed the gut bacteria and fungus, including candida, so that those microbes can also hold onto toxins to be excreted in the bowel movement. This is usually the meal component that gives people the largest problem because the candida can grow out of control unless you have the proper probiotic to keep it in check, uh, which we'll discuss in a second with the water kefir. The beans, where you can have like cauliflower, maybe artichokes, there, there's a bunch of foods, but this is keeping it as simple and minimal as possible to start. Just some added volume and fiber, reinforcing that liver detox, while also adding a small amount of minerals in some cases. And we did an entire video on apples a few weeks back. Sugars help absorb toxins, give a carbohydrate variety for enzyme optimization, and are high in water volume to promote gut motility. Uh, the liver and the body can use a variety of nutrients to detox. I'm not going to disclose those or reveal those to just give everything away completely, but it, it really does get that complicated. Soluble fiber, starch, you know, glucose, fructose, all of those can be individually used by the liver in different capacities to detox. So I mentioned the food volume briefly earlier, but let me give you guys a better look. So, you know, we have about four or five ounces of beef, maybe a cup and a half, two cups of rice and half a cup of beans. This is an excellent starting point. If you're a smaller person, maybe you do less. If you're a larger person, or even if you're just hungry, you know, you could eat as much rice and beans as you want. Obviously, try to keep the protein minimal to start and even have two apples if you need to. But I mean, in just about every case, this is plenty of food for most people. And you really don't want to eat till you're stuffed. You want to eat till you're full and comfortable. And if you're craving stuff, then well, that issue can be explored. But this diet really just needs to be adhered to for, you know, two, three, four weeks, just so you start feeling a lot better Then you want to commit to it. And then maybe you can add some variety here and there. Moving on to what will help you transition to this type of diet, especially if you're coming from keto or carnivore or you're having any issues. And this is not for everyone. You might not need to take this stuff. And that's a great indicator that you know your body isn't too damaged. Unfortunately, by the time a lot of people come to me, they usually have to use all of these three things. So the first one is mastic gum. And I did an extensive video on mastic gum and H. pylori, so I won't go too in depth on it. And the purpose of this video is not to explain everything completely. If people come see this video as a basis of information, then they can go watch some other videos I'm referencing. So what we use mastic gum for is to keep the food out of the stomach and upper small intestine, increase gut motility, and reduce the amount of toxins being absorbed. If you don't take this, then SIBO, which is small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, will likely proliferate if you do have those existing gut issues and try to eat all of this starch. Uh, so this is, it's a pine resin from a tree. It's like a light antimicrobial, a light antibiotic. You grind it up, it does not get absorbed. So the stress on the liver is minimal. Amazing, amazing factor of this product. You'll actually see it in your poop if you look. It'll look different than, than the poop because it does not get absorbed. Then you have the water kefir, which prevents fungus candida from overgrowing, and more importantly, breaks down and digests the carbohydrates in the meal for you. you know, your stomach, your whole body is living bacteria, but if you're not healthy, you're not gonna have the right bacteria ratios. This is basically dousing your body in healthy bacteria. It's one of the most amazing things you can do. The water kefir itself is very high in B vitamins, then those bacteria will turn the carbohydrates into protein and B vitamins, which are very important nutrients in states of compromised health, as the demands for you know mainly B vitamins increases drastically, especially if you're eating a lot of carbohydrates. And not having water kefir is the main reason people don't feel good and fail when incorporating carbohydrates back in. If your gut is messed up, 
you need to temporarily replace healthy bacteria until you feel better, whether that takes months or years. And I followed this diet for a few months and I never really felt that good, but water kefir was like the switch. Water kefir, and I've said it many times before guys, probably over a dozen now, water kefir is the single most important thing that I've taken to help my digestion and improve my health. Uh, water kefir grains in addition to the meal, you could do that as well. Maybe watch some of my uh, less recent day of eating videos from a few months ago if you want me to go more in depth on this. The charcoal is kind of like a safety net for when you go to sleep. The problem with lying down is that gut motility is greatly reduced and toxic bile tends to be reabsorbed. You know, think about it, you're standing up, gravity is pushing all the food down away from the liver, away from the small intestine, but if you're lying down, the food's almost like coming back up into your stomach, into your throat. So if you eat sooner than three to four hours before bed or lying down, you definitely wanna take one, two or three capsules. And I notice that you know if I come home tired from work and I eat a large meal and then I lay down right away, I almost always wake up with a headache, almost always. You really want to wait a decent amount of time for the food to get out of your stomach into the intestine or have the charcoal. To me, this is the bare minimum that you have to do to fix your health. You know, if you do less foods or don't have these supplements, it might not work. And actually most people are doing more. So if you stick to this for a few weeks, then when you're feeling better, get some blood work, get a hair mineral analysis, see if any minerals need to be supplemented. Uh, most commonly magnesium, vitamin C, molybdenum B1 folate, and vitamin K2 are required in some capacity for most people. Selenium, copper, zinc, manganese, iodine, boron is typical as well, but usually not as severely deficient. And, you know, when people come to me and they're taking dozens and dozens of supplements, no. I don't really consider these supplements, although some people might, they're digestive aids. You need to start with a base just to see where you are. Don't take any supplements, nothing, zero nada. You want some vitamin D, go out in the sun. Don't do anything extra. Stick to this for a little while and then try to incorporate things on an individual basis and see how you feel when you do them. And then the cheat meals, the increased food variety, all that stuff, um, and then you can figure that out down the line. So you guys can check out frank defilecom where you can see all of my businesses and there are some related products. We have meat on Frankie's Free Range Meat. We have the water key for on Frankie's Free Range Foods. We have the Masticum on organ supplements. And on frank defilecom you guys can also reach out to me for a consultation if you would like me to explain this thoroughly, more in depth, and go into you know, more reasons why you're doing this and uh, why this diet works and any specific details about foods to incorporate or supplements you might need. Outside of that, if you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, as I said, guys, frank-defile.com, if you'd like to support me further,